Hello fans, this is Blake with Channel Android, and today we're going to take a quick look at the Lenovo IdeaPad. We're going to look at the customizations that Lenovo has done to Honeycomb to try and set their tablet apart. We've looked at TouchWiz in the past. I believe we've looked at a little bit of Honeycomb on the HTC Flyer. So we're going to do a quick look at this. Uh, basically, you've got a typical Honeycomb layout here with some customized widgets. Uh, first off, let's go back here. Uh, this is the main home screen. This is what you're going to look like straight out of the box. Notice on the bottom here we have some icons that Lenovo put on there, but it's the typical thing you're going to see. And over here in the uh, notification area, it looks pretty typical on what you're going to see on stock Android devices. They haven't really done anything there like Samsung did. Here on the bottom, at the same area that we see, uh, Samsung made a little application quick area pop up. Uh, Lenovo has done something. We'll come back to that. Uh, we have a Lenovo App Shop icon up here, but we do have the Android market, so don't be afraid of that not being around. We'll start off taking a look at this main widget here in the middle. This is for launching of some of the quick things that you might want to do. Watch for watching video, email, listen, or read and then the globe in the middle will launch the browser. We also have this icon which launches settings and then the little gear over here will allow us to customize this whole widget. Now what we'll do first, let's just look at the customization. They call the areas on this widget zones and you can customize what each of these zones will allow you to launch. So for the watch zone, you click that button and you can choose a few options that they've already thrown in here or you can click the browse button and select any application that you want. Basically works the same way on all these sections. You can also change the color of the widget to one of these beautiful colors here as well as the transparency. We'll change it back to black. Hit the back button and that's about all the customization you're gonna do here. And if you tap one of these, like I'm gonna tap watch, it's gonna launch mSpot which is pre-installed software on here and I'm hitting my camera, sorry, let me go back. And it pretty much does something similar on each of these. We also have Lenovo widgets for doing some quick tasks. Let's take a quick look at the app shop. This is Lenovo's app shop, but it is, it appears to be the same applications that you're going to see from Moby Hand. So I'm pretty sure this is Moby Hand on the back end and we have Appverse in, uh, integration which is something else that MobyHan does and it's not really pulling anything up it may be that I have not got a good connection at the moment uh, but basically it's just gonna populate with a bunch of apps you've already seen maybe you want to order them from the Lenovo app shop I don't know but don't be worried because we still have the Android market here so that's not gone we have some links to some of the applications that come pre-installed on the device we have Kindle, MSpot already mentioned, Netflix. We also have several games that have been released that are uh, Tegra 2 compatible. Uh, Galaxy on Fire, Need for Speed Shift, um, Angry Birds. There's more. This is a widget for the App Shop. We've got the weather widget done by AccuWeather. You see that? Gorgeous, isn't it? Okay. This is a quick look. Calm down. Channel Android widget, that doesn't come. You have to install that yourself. Here we have uh, like the tasks that are, well it's not just tasks. That's the same as this. I forgot I added it twice. And then more links. So, we'll take a look at this widget real quick. This widget is like a widget for um, many things that you might want to link to quickly. So over here on the right, you can see we have Gmail, email, calendar, Facebook, Twitter. And I can hit Gmail, and it'll allow me to do recent communication, send email accounts, and similar things. I hit Facebook. It's got some functions there. And on the left over here, I have some calendar items, uh, some tweets, emails, Facebook posts, things of that nature. And then we have some applications over here on the right, and then some uh, contacts over here on the left. So it's a pretty cool little area to go to, just clicking on the widget, and then the uh, section that was over on the left within, once you tap, is right here within the widget. So I like that widget a lot. 
Now this area here, let's click this and it brings up this three-dimensional scrolling area where you can put applications that you want quick access to. If you hit that plus and minus button, it'll take you to an area that looks just like the app drawer, but it has this area here on the bottom. Now that's the same thing that you see on the side, but um, this is where you can edit and put what you want there. I think that's a nice little touch to allow you to have quick access. Notice here it has the, on the top, get more apps from the Lenovo App Shop. But other than that, it's pretty much all the same. And if you go back and click on the regular app drawer, you're going to have the Android Market link up there on the top as opposed to the Lenovo App Shop. So it's a nice little touch to the software. And uh, I believe that's about it. Like I said, you can edit that. And yeah, that's about it. So Lenovo put a little extra effort into trying to make Honeycomb more usable. And for the most part, I approve of the utility of these widgets and extra functions. Thanks for watching the video, and be sure to check back on the hardware video that will be forthcoming, as well as a review in which I will give you my opinion on this tablet and how it stacks up against the competition.